the next thing that you'll need to do is you need to attach an open toe free motion foot on your machine. If you look on the, the foot that I have on here, obviously you can see that I have an open toe. It's open here. The reason that you need an open toe foot is you need to be able to see where you've been, where I'm actually thread painting, and where I'm getting ready to go. Now this is a foot you do not want to use. This one is a clear oval foot. And from all first impressions, you would think, well, that's a really good foot because the foot's clear. However, even though this area right here is clear, once you're working and you're underneath your machine, you cannot see through this clear area here. So this is an example of a foot you do not want to use. Other good examples, this is a particular foot is for a brother. You can see, again, I've got an open toe area here. And the last one is for a fuff. And it's got a really nice open sewing area in here, so it makes it really, really easy to see where you're getting ready to go and where you are right now. Now, the reason that you want a free motion foot is when I put the presser foot down, it floats. It does not sit flat on the throat plate. So you want to make sure that when you put your, your free motion foot on here that it does clear this, otherwise you won't be able to move the hoop.